I remarked a couple of days ago that some of the people commenting here behave as though they were my sock puppets, feeding me my lines and allowing me to score points from their disagreement with what I've been saying. We saw a marvellous instance of this yesterday. Uh, I've been talking about the equalitarian dogma, which, as you re will recall, holds that there are no innate um, intellectual or cognitive differences between various ethnic groups or races. When I pointed out there was no evidence for this idea, somebody commented saying it would be a terrible thing if black people were discriminated against and denied the chance to become philosophers, and also that holding beliefs which were fair to everybody was a good thing. This is precisely the point I was aiming to make, and it gives me a good opportunity to uh, underline what I was saying in case there was any possible ambiguity. Anybody raising any question about the equalitarian dogma is now labelled a white supremacist who is probably in favour of segregated schools or apartheid. Uh, what many people seem wholly unable to grasp is that it is this very dogma which is now causing ethnic minorities to be discriminated against both in education and the workplace. Let me explain why. And I'm talking now uh, primarily of America, although I'm seeing the same things happen in Britain as well. I'll devote a separate video to that at some time. Um, in Britain, this goes under the name of contextual uh, data when people are applying for universities. Until the 1960s, some American universities operated quotas for Jewish students. That is to say that because so many Jews were educationally qualified and mentally equipped for academic life, there was a fear that unless the intake was artificially limited, places like Harvard and Yale would be overrun by Jews. I'm putting the case bluntly because this is what, what it amounted to. The Dean of Yale Medical School was very clear about this. He said that each year his policy was never admit more than five Jews, take only two Italian Catholics and take no blacks at all. Anybody other than a fanatical racist will find this policy quite shocking and absurd. And yet this kind of thing was also enforced at places like Columbia and Harvard. Numbers of Jews were strictly controlled. Mercifully, we no longer see Jewish quotas. These days, the racial quota system operates instead to prevent too many Asians getting into the best and most prestigious universities in the United States, a process sometimes known as the bamboo ceiling. Harvard was caught out of this game, and after a very long lawsuit, the United States Justice Department announced bluntly that Harvard did not demonstrate that they did not discriminate during admissions based on race which was a rather uh, roundabout way of saying that they were operating quotas. In other words, the quota system used to prevent some people of certain ethnicities from entering some educational establishments has returned. Why should this be? Is it because some people are prejudiced, perhaps, against people of uh, Chinese or Korean heritage? This is unlikely. One <laughs> seldom hears anybody complain about the conduct of American Asians. They tend to be industrious, polite, studious and law-abiding. When was the last time you saw a crazed mob of Asian Americans running riot in an American city, torching cars, looting shops and shooting at police officers? Why on earth would anybody wish to keep Asians out of medical school? The answer to this problem is surprising and touches precisely upon the whole question of the equalitarian dogma. It is entirely due to this dogma, which I explained yesterday, that this is now happening. OK, obviously, if all ethnic groups have equal intelligence, then there will be as many black people with the intellectual ability to study at medical school as there will be white or Chinese people. That means that if 14 or 15% of the population of America are black, 
then 14 or 15 percent of medical students should also be black. That makes sense if there's no real difference between uh, the uh, intelligence or ability then obviously we should have the same proportion of black students in medical school as we should in the general population. Because around 5% of people in America are of East Asian origin, then 5% of a medical student should also be of that heritage. That's again assuming that all else is equal. If those numbers don't match up, then it must be to do with something like racism, perhaps institutional racism in the universities, or poverty, societal disadvantage, all sorts of other things. In reality, of course, loads of Chinese people have both the educational qualifications and the driving ambition to get to medical school, and far fewer black people have those things. Those crafty Asians have probably been creating an uneven playing field by getting their kids to stay home in the evenings, reading or doing their homework rather than hanging around the streets. Ha! Huh. We can soon deal with that by putting a quota in place to limit how many of them can study to be doctors. That will put a stop to their nonsense. Because there are three times as many black people in the country as there are Asian Americans, then obviously it's only fair there are also three times as many black medical students. Since nowhere near that number have the necessary qualifications, We'll have to lower standards to ensure that the right number are admitted to medical schools. I hope everyone's following this so far. It sounds raving mad and a shocking case of prejudice against a certain minority, in this case people from of East Asian heritage, but there it is. In this way, the equalitarian dogma has brought about the return of the racist quota system which once discriminated against Jews and now works to the disadvantage of Asians. It's also operating in employment in an increasing number of fields. Some firms of lawyers are sure that it will make them look really good and virtuous if 14% of their staff are black. This sometimes means that they have to engage mediocre black lawyers and turn away brilliant Asians. This happens now in both Britain and America. You really could not make this up.